Gracious me, what an outrage! Can I not even eat dessert in peace? I thought four servings of cake was enough, ma'am. Now, if you please. Of course, of course, I'm just so busy with everyone pulling me in every direction. I'm starting to get motion sickness. Well then, what's on the agenda for today? Now then, your inspection of the Twilight Ruins and the feasibility study for the new school. Oh, no, 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 no! An inspection and that blasted study? There would need to be two of me to do it all. They work me to the bone, I say. To the bone! It's exploitation, that's what it is. They think they're going to dump all this work on me alone? Ah, I think not. You, you there. Huh? I hereby name you Florum's Interim Superintendent of Education, effective immediately. Hetty, do see that all the necessary paperwork is filed. Yes, ma'am. Super and what? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure... Now that that's taken care of, since I am so passionate about Luxendark's cultural heritage, I will go to the ruins. While you survey people about the new school, your stocky little legs look well suited to tromping about the town, at least. Chop, chop! Hold on, lady. I don't know you from a bowl of gravy, but... Shush, shush, shush! Zip those lips and move those hooves. <coughs> oh, don't worry, dear. Everyone is nervous their first time. Take heart. I believe in you. <laughs> we'll be taking our leave, then. I'll be waiting for your report. Yes, ma'am. My word, what a powerful figure. She's like a force of nature. Just wait a minute. I still don't even know who any of you people are. The esteemed personage you just met is Miss Ursula U. Duet, Chancellor of Education from Al Campus. I am Hetty Steady, one of her administrative assistants. A pleasure to meet you. Uh... And what is this job she just dumped on me? Chancellor Duet has delegated to you the vital task of overseeing all matters of education here in Florham. It's an honor, Superintendent Lee. Hello, Vash. Moving up in the world, aren't we now? I had no idea you were so passionate about education, Idia. <sighs> Laugh all you want, guys. Let's just get this over with. What am I supposed to survey or whatever? The Al Campus Ministry of Education is planning to open a new academy right here in Florham. We are conducting a thorough survey of the populace to determine what sort of school might best serve their needs. That sounds pretty vague. Can't you just give me like a yes or no question? Indeed. Let us start with the question of whether or not the campus should be co-educational. Okay, so I'll find out if people want one school for everyone, or separate schools for girls and boys. Then I'm done, right? Not exactly. We already did a preliminary survey. The results being... 10 in support of a co-educational system, 10 in support of single-sex education, and 40 with no particular preference. If you already did the survey, then what do you need me for? I... Okay, okay. So what should I do? Find out more about the co-ed supporters and naysayers? That would be a suitable place to start. The leaders of each faction are both teachers here in town. We would appreciate it if you could listen to their arguments and render a decision. Will you speak with them? I don't see what choice I've got. Lead the way. I'd be delighted to, if you would just follow me to the city's upper level. That is where we will find the leader of the anti-co-ed faction. One Ms. Rhea Veeling. Don't allow these outsiders to come in and muddy our good morals! 
take a stand against co-education! So that's the leader of the group that wants separate education? That is correct. Miss Rhea Veeling. She may come from academia, but many say she has political aspirations. What's with the dowdy old dribble, eh? No one wants to see you out here, you saggy old hag. This is the era of gender equality. Co-education is the only way to the future. Equal, Equal opportunities, opportunities for, for men, men and women. women. One, One school, school for, for men, men and women. women. And that's the leader for the co-ed supporters? Quite so. Mr. Sweaty Tracksuit. He was hired just this spring as an interim physical education instructor. That mask looks awfully familiar. There you are, and in that grubby tracksuit, no less. Today's the day we win this debate once and for all. Dream on! Just you try with those old-fashioned ideals of yours. Huh. It would seem your awareness of the times is rivaled only by your impeccable fashion sense. <laughs> Look! Forum isn't just for women any longer. Haven't you heard of the Equal Rights Act? It's the law, you old bag! So men and women have equal rights. Why should that mean they have to study together, hmm? Men and women are different, and there's no denying that. Why should they have to do everything exactly the same way? Oh, come off it. What's so different about us? We wear different clothing. We show our emotions differently. We even use different toilets. It's like comparing this impeccable couture skirt of mine to a stinky threadbare tracksuit. Huh. Just shows what you know. I bet my tracksuit costs more than your entire outfit, and it actually covers my legs. And the whole world thanks you for that. Some sights can never be unseen, after all. Anyhow, there is simply no reason why girls and boys should have to study together. Why, even if we were to adopt your proposal, the female to male ratio would be nearly 70 to 1. So why don't we just set up a boys' school in some big, stinky swamp somewhere? I dare say you'd be right at home. Why, you nasty old... Ugh. You expect boys to enjoy that kind of school life? Where's the passion? The romance? Passion? Romance? Oh, oh, school is a place for education, for study. Ha! Shows what you know. Romance might be the single most important part of a student's life. Young boys and girls sitting across from each other in the classroom, stealing glances. That's all a part of education. The bittersweet taste of first love is what being young is all about. Not that an old maid like you would know anything about that. Oh! Who are you calling an old maid? Ah, oh, I think I've heard enough. I'd better stop this before they sink any lower with their insults. Could I have a minute of your time? Why, you... you... You're Idiot Lee! Huh, I thought I knew that mask. Aye, ma'am. Sweaty tracksuit, formerly of the Attorney and Sky Knights, at your service. I do remember your mask, but I'm afraid that's all I remember. Oh, that's all right. It's only natural. I left the Sky Knights two years ago due to an injury and returned to my home to help out. That's when I went back to school, you see. Last year, I finally got my teacher's license. It was a dream come true. And that's when you came to Florin? That's right. If I may ask, what brings you here, ma'am? Miss Lee is Florin's new superintendent of education. She's here to make an important decision about the new school. Oh, amazing! Daughter of the Grand Marshal, Vice Captain of the Ducal Guard, and now a superintendent, too! Superintendent Lee. Would you give it a rest, Tiz? So, why are you so gung-ho about co-education? What drove you to be the leader of this movement? Uh, I guess 
I just wanted to make this new school into something like the Sky Knights. Like the Sky Knights? Yes, ma'am. In the Sky Knights, I served alongside both men and women. Everyone laughing and working together. Sure, we didn't always see eye to eye. Sometimes we even came to blows. But we were always there for each other. I want every young person to be able to experience that kind of camaraderie. That's my real dream. I've even thought of a name for the new school. How about the Florum Academy of Passion and Pedagogy? That's certainly a name. I like it. Mm-hmm. The Florum School of Burning Passion and Pex. Huh? What in the world? Greetings, little friend. It's been far too long, I'd say. What was your name again? Tracksuit, sir. Sweaty tracksuit. I was under your direct command, sir. Oh, ho, ho. And if it ain't Idia, how you been, girly? Great. Thanks, Ferris. What an imposing friend you have, Idia. Aren't you going to introduce us? He was one of the helmsmen of the Sky Knights, a main division of the Eternian forces. That's right! Feast your eyes on this! You're looking at the legendary warrior, Paris Lair! <laughs> Barris Lair, the beast in the ring, holder of the Monk Asterisk. He served briefly alongside Idia in their time as members of the Eternian Sky Knights. A born brawler who lives for the sound of flesh hitting flesh. He has a rugged charm, despite his coarse and vulgar nature. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? So, what are you all standing around here yammering about, huh? Let me in on the action. Would you be willing to join the cause, sir? We could definitely use your support. get what you're so worked up about, but you just want me to say I'm on your side, right? That good? What? Uh, yes, sir. To elaborate, the Sky Knights inspired me to create a learning environment unbound by traditional notions of gender and... Yeah, yeah, sounds good. I'll leave the pesky details to you, kid. I'm on your side. Whatever it is you want to do. Bet you're feeling pretty lucky right about now. Huh? Huh? Who wouldn't? I'm planning to stick around town for a while, so give a holler if you need me. See ya, tracksuit! Why do I get the feeling he has no idea what he just agreed to? I have a bad feeling about all this. Again. Well, Superintendent Lee, shall we go hear what Miss Veeling has to say next? Exactly how long do you plan on following us? Huh? Considering how extravagant this city's architecture is, it actually provides quite clear lines of sight. Well, what are you... Making it pretty hard to follow someone undetected. Oh! oh! I... I have no idea what you mean, me, me, mean. Do you need something, stranger? Do I need something? How about not having you following on our heels all around the city? f f, -f following Perish the thought. I've never seen you before in my la-la-la life. Still playing innocent, huh? No, no, no. F forgive me. You are Idiot Lee, yes? Huh? Is this man an acquaintance of yours? No. At least I don't think so. I'd definitely remember someone this annoying. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to remember me. This is our first me, me, me meeting, after all. I am Rock Peller, fa 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 famed across the realm as Peller the Third. Oh yeah. Peller? Whoa, whoa, as in the world famous bard, Harkapeller? 
You know this Peller person, you? He was an incredible musician who spent his whole life traveling the world, leaving pupils behind in every land to carry on his legacy. His life reads more like a legend than anything else. Why, they say he saved nations from fearsome fiends with only his music. That's right! We even sailed around the world to track down his legendary conductor's baton. In music, the most important thing is to have fun. Boy, that takes me back. Yes, that's right! Arcapeller was my grandfather, which makes me, 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 his grandson. Uh, yeah, that's how it usually works. So what does the grandson of a world-famous bard want from me, of all people? Not anything I'd like my fa 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 fans to overhear. Young though I may be, I'm quite well known. If you're trying to go undercover, you could start by talking like a normal... Ah, oh, never mind. Just lead the way. Do, re, mi, fa, fa, follow me. lengths to hide my past in the duchy's armed forces. Fine, I'll confess. You forced it out of me. I know you've come all this way to track me down. Ah, no, that's really not. Three years ago, I came with the Blood Rose Legion to corrupt this nation and its people. True, I was only following orders. But still... I knew I had to do something to atone for my crimes, and so I dedicated myself to education. Yes, with this. Education for the educationally challenged. Get your teaching license in just 30 days with our patented method. I studied until I sweat blood, and finally, finally, I became a teacher in this country. Florum is a heavenly nation indeed full of natural beauty and blessed with a sensitive and gentle-hearted citizenry. I want to preserve its beauty and harmony for generations to come. That is why I teach the girls here as I do. Such noble resolve. Yes, it has touched me to my core. Oh, I'm Heria? I'm Heria Venus. Unrelenting warrior and holder of the Valkyrie Asterisk. Eldest of the Venus Sisters, and part of the Blood Rose Legion with whom Idia and her friends did battle. Having studied the sword under the same master, she is more than a match for Idia in strength of both body and will. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Well, did she just jump out of the sky? I take it this is another of your acquaintances, Idia? I'm afraid so. The Valkyrie, I'm Harry of Venus. We studied together under Master Kami Izumi. What are you doing back here in Florum? Why, for my training, of course. Why else? <sighs> Never the model warrior. Don't you ever relax? Uh, Commander, I'm Yuria. Yes. You were one of my soldiers, weren't you, Miss, um... Veeling! Maria Veeling! It was my pleasure to serve, ma'am! Your efforts on this nation's behalf, they have made a deep impression on me. Seeing your deeds makes me proud to call myself your former commander. The... the... the honor is mine! So let me get this straight. To preserve Florum's beauty and harmony, you think boys and girls should be taught separately? Precisely. I would not deny men equal rights. But why should boys and girls have to learn together? Miss Lee here is the acting superintendent of education. If you have an opinion about the new school, please share it. I believe I've made my feelings clear. Oh, but I have thought of a possible name for the school. What would you think of this? St. Florian's Academy for Girls! 
Yeah, that'll make boys feel real welcome. A fine name. Elegant and dignified. I wish I'd thought of it myself. We must do whatever we can to see that your ideas are heard. The future of this nation's educational system is at stake. Yes, ma'am. It looks like we'll be seeing a lot of each other from now on, Idia. It's good to have you on our side. Till we meet again, comrades. No, wait. Now then, Miss Lee, you have heard both sides' opinions. What is your decision? Mm. If it's okay, I'd like to make my report directly to the Chancellor. Certainly, Miss Lee. Chancellor Duet is currently visiting the Twilight Ruins. You will find her in the Western Village there. I trust you will think things over very carefully before rendering your decision. It looks like we can talk in peace. But why here of all places? Why, this is my new studio! I purchased the property just last year! Is it not up to your status fa 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 faction It seems to be soundproof at the very least. Anyway, what do you need me here for? Oh uh, la 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 la, allow me to explain. Yeah, before you do that, can you give the singing a rest? It is a gift inherited from my grandfather. Whenever I open my mouth, me, 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 melody springs forth. Then I suggest that you turn your little gift off before I turn it off for you. Uh, uh, I, I suppose silence is also a virtue. I will do my best. Oh, well, there can be no doubt that you're a descendant of the great Archipeller. Hmm. What makes you so sure? D why, his voice? Archipeller was the greatest musician of his era. Each song he penned became an instant classic. I'm actually a huge fan of the Bard myself. Why, I have every album he ever released. Well, actually, two copies. One for playing and the other set aside in mint condition. I still don't understand. Why were you following Idia? Yeah, I never did anything to deserve being stalked by some weirdo musician. Not that I can remember, anyway. If I might be so bold, Miss Idia Lee, you are the daughter of the Grand Marshal of Eternia, are you not? Oh, so that's what this is all about. Okay, let's hear it then. Not that I want to. First, you must know that I am terribly busy these days composing new songs for my upcoming tour, due to begin next year. Let me guess. Someone's been interfering with your work? Someone from the Eternian forces? Yes, two someones, in fact. And just when I was about to set out in search of new inspiration. Hmm, it always comes back to the duchy, doesn't it? I'm sure they mean no harm, of course, but I fear they both seem to want the same thing of me, and... Let's cut to the chase. Who are they? One would be the famed diva of the battlefield, Miss Praline Alamode. The other is a former captain of the Black Blades, one Hayred and Barbarossa. What? But they're both from the Black Blades, subordinates of my master. The diva of the battlefield? She's not trying to get revenge on us, or is she? 
I doubt it after two whole years. Leaving Praline aside, what would a pirate like Barbarossa want with a musician like you? It seems to have something to do with a long-lost song of my grandfather's, which was discovered last year. What? A never-before-heard song by the great Archipella? Oh, this, this is the news of the century! How did I not hear about this? It was Miss Alamode who first contacted me about the song. I believe she was seeking permission to use my grandfather's last song for something. But I could hardly understand the words that she was using, let alone that eardrum-piercing voice of hers. It was all quite beyond my understanding. She seems to have a, quite a singular way of expressing herself. Since I couldn't ascertain exactly what she wanted, I've been avoiding giving any sort of response. While I was pondering a course of action, I was accosted by a rather large gentleman, Captain Barbarossa. He tried to tell me something in that rough, ear-shattering voice of his, but his words were as unintelligible to me as Miss Alamode's. The best I could gather was that they each had some designs on my grandfather's last song. But you have no idea what they want to do with it. That's why you were following Idia? Yes, it was by complete coincidence that I came upon you today, but I thought if anyone could help me, it would be you. <sighs> They're my master's subordinates. And my master's problems are my problems. I guess I have no choice. I'll go see what they have to say. Where are they now? Miss Praline should be rehearsing at Florum Square Garden uh, in the upper part of the city. As for Barbarossa... Hmm, you don't know where to find him? Okay, we'll track him down and meet you back here. As a matter of fact, I'm planning a trip to the Witherwood, north of the city, in search of inspiration for my latest masterpiece. Once you've figured out what those two want, come find me there. All right, we will. But don't get your hopes up. Thank you. 
You studied the sword with Einheria. But what about this Barris person? He's from Eternia too, we? Yeah. How many years ago was it when we first met? I remember it was just after I joined Master's school. That winter, Eternia was full of talk of an abominable snowman. Supposedly it was prowling the western corridor and ambushing unwary travelers. So I decided to go and deal with it myself. How old were you then? Ten? Twelve? Old enough to handle a sword, I can say that. What? Nobody tried to stop you? Sure, they tried, but I was having none of it. I even convinced Alternus to come with me. Convinced? Or forced? Anyway, we headed straight for the Western Corridor. But Einharia caught us before we got there. She'd been sent to bring me back. Alternus tried to help me get away, but I'm Harry I got the jump on him, and my little game was over. <laughs> oh, you should have heard me whine. I'm Harry I couldn't wait to get me back to town. But after all the running around and chasing, we were pretty exhausted, all three of us. That's when the blizzard hit. <gasps> the world turned white. We could barely see, and then a giant figure slowly emerged. The abominable snowman! He knocked out Einharia before she knew what hit her. Alternus moved to protect me, but soon he too was on the ground, unconscious. Then it was my turn. I... I don't know how much time passed. I awoke inside a cave, warmed by a small campfire. When I looked around me, I saw Einharia on the ground, and also Alternus, battered and beaten. Then I heard the thud thud of heavy footsteps, and a giant shadow loomed across the cave wall. The abominable snowman! I knew it had come to eat us, but I didn't even have the strength to stand. I trembled in terror as the giant slowly turned and bared its gruesome fangs at me. <laughs> Yikes! Ah! Then, I passed out again. Several days later, I was kneeling on the floor in fencing class, getting a real dressing down from Master. Father had already given me a spanking I wouldn't soon forget. It still stings just thinking about it. Wow, so uh, you made it out alive. Well, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here telling you the story, would I? Well, so what happened to the, uh, abominable snowman? Let me guess. It was actually Barris, right? What? What? Barris was the abominable snowman? Don't be silly. Sir Heinkel had ordered Barris to chase the monster away. Whew, that's a relief. But there really was an abominable snowman? Kind of. As it turned out, it was just an ice golem that had escaped captivity. It had knocked us out before we could get a good look at it. But Barris showed up and drove it off before it could do any real damage. Huh, then after, in the cave... It was Barris who carried us there, to keep us warm and treat our wounds. So the second time you passed out, that was Barris? Yeah, that really cheesed him off. I just grinned at you and you conked out like I was some hulking beast, he said. 
I guess it hurt his feelings or something. Maybe he's more sensitive than he looks. Every time he saw me, every time, he'd bring up how I fainted at the sight of him. Anyway, he and Alternus ended up as good friends. And Einheria joined Master's school to study the spear. I guess you could say it was the abominable snowman who brought us all together. Anyhow, those two are impossible to talk to. Stubborn as behemoths, the both of them. <laughs> what was it they say? Birds of a feather? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? 